Hi guys, in this first video on drop downs in Excel, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down. Uh, let's say I got here a uh, car brand, the description, and here I wish to have a drop down in which I can insert various car brands. Now, what's the purpose of a drop down? Well, a drop down, first of all, limits the, the kind the, 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 the data that you can enter in a certain field. So you can earn, let's say, I want to limit the brands to certain. Uh, to a certain number and uh, you know I don't want to allow any brand in just those brands and second of all with a drop down I can avoid misspellings or wrong inputs because the drop down limits the data you can insert in a field in, or in a cell now how do I create a drop down well first of all I have to set the data and it's advisable to set that data in a separate sheet I've done it here I've created a new sheet called list data and here I have my car brands. And uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, take or, or let's keep it like that. I've got my car brands, and it's also advisable to ease entry via the drop down to have your data sorted, because then in the drop down it'll appear like that. And it's much easier to pick a certain car brand uh, because they're all sorted. Now I've got my data. And uh, oh yeah, and another thing I wish to uh, say is that it is also advisable to have for each drop down a complete column allocated. So basically, this column is all are all my car brands, and I can any further car brands will come in here. And this second column is for another drop down, okay? And I can have I can have naturally multiple uh, drop downs in this in this in this in this sheet. So that makes updating or, or let's say further updates or edits to these drop downs very easy because all I got to do is come here to this list data sheet and edit the respective uh, lists instead of having to look all over the place for each of the various drop downs I, I insert into my um, into my spreadsheet so that's settled now I go back and I wish to create my drop down well first I will go to data data validation and then data validation. I pick here not any value because I don't I don't want to wish I don't wish to enter any value but list. And now I click in source and I go over to my list data and I don't select this like that because that limits my drop down to this range. So adding any further brands, I would have to go back, repeat the process, and just select you know a, a, a different range so that's that's why I advise you to select the whole column instead of just uh, you know a particular range so we got that we selected the whole column I go okay and that's it drop down is there now I just select any brand you see how easy it is to select because they're sorted and the beauty of that is of selecting a whole common a column is that if I go back to list data and just delete part of my brands you can see here they're not they're not there anymore okay and if I wish to add any other brands let's say uh, you go let's say mini okay let's say uh, Ford you can see they're back in there or they're in here and if I sort them they are also sorted in my list all right another uh, now in this uh, now another uh, way of creating lists is to I go back to my list data is to have a header at the top now this this list here doesn't have a header but here you can have a header and the advantage of that is that uh, I just create the list first, click in here, go to data validation, data validation. Again, I pick list, go into source, go to list data, and this time I select this column. Okay, and now I can set it to destination, and that this description I don't need no more because now it's obvious what you gotta put in here. Okay destination so so basically this 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 type of list where you have the header on the top 
first of all saves you the description also it, it shows the user what to input so if you let's say if you're doing a template for other users to use in the template you set it like like that to destination and save the template and every time somebody uses that template to create a new spreadsheet they will then oh okay I gotta put in destination and then they can pick their respective destinations you see so that's that's the advantage of having a list with uh, this kind of header right now uh, another thing about the uh, drop downs is that drop downs limit the data you input so if I want to input anything else something like that it doesn't allow me now is there a possibility of having a drop down and still be able to put input any data well yes there is but first you have to modify the, the drop down a bit what you do is you click in the drop down itself you go to data validation data validation you go to the third tab error alert and you deselect that checkbox show error alert after invalid data is entered and now you can you have a drop down still works normally but you have the freedom of entering any data you wish should you need to okay and the other thing i just want to mention in a video in this video is that uh, how do i get rid of a um, drop down very easy you click in the cell of the drop down you go to data validation data validation you go to the first tab settings and here at the bottom left you have this button clear all and okay and your drop down is gone